Okay, so as you can see now, what used to be an impulse clock has become a course operated clock and now has what's become an uh, automatic clock, as I have promised. Now, as you can see from the previous video, it has correctly, well, I've corrected it, so I had to manually turn it around. But, um, I mean, I've got to manually fix it. So, it should be telling the correct time now. And so every day like savings time, it will reset itself. Unless, of course, we move to Arizona, where they don't do daylight savings time, which I think is nuts. I think, I think that no one should do daylight savings time, but uh, there it is. It's all atomic now. Well, I think it's really cool. It's like in the middle school where I used to be. Um, every 15 seconds, the clock minute hand will tilt up a few, a few um, degrees. So does this one, so I'm guessing they're almost like atomic clocks or have the same gear mechanisms. Um, okay, I think the second hand's a bit off by one second. Of course. I don't think I fixed it, but uh, that's it right there. I think I actually just made it worse. Yep. <laughs> there we go. So now, unless it's a second ahead now, I think I corrected it. Of course, I did put it a second ahead. I think it's actually correcting the corrections I'm making, so in fact, in turn, it's incorrect into the corrections of the corrections that I'm making make it incorrect. Yeah, you figure out the math on that one. So now I think I correct the incorrectness of the correcting correctionism on the clock. Correct me if I'm wrong. And you just did. Okay, now hopefully I didn't make it two seconds ahead, because then everything's going to be screwed up. It's supposed to be Fort Collins, Colorado, but as you may know, not all clocks are programmed to that time. Because it would be security issues. Because say that the clock there failed, all the clocks would fail. So that's the reason why not all the clocks are programmed to that clock. I think now I fixed it. But, um... Anyway, so for example, the New Year's Eve ball is programmed to that. So if that shut down, the New Year's Eve ball will not happen, or the New Year's Eve ball drop will not happen. And it looks like we're not going to be having countdowns for this New Year's Eve either for Toshiba because one of my design people is, hasn't responded yet, and it's due December 1st. So it looks like we're not going to be having New Year's Eve countdowns. Thank you very much whose name I'm not going to say. But, uh, I'm pretty sure the Sony will do it anyway. I'm trying to correct it, but unfortunately it's correcting me at the same time, so, eh, I think I got it. Except the second hand is just a bit off, so. It's just the angle, the arrow, the pointer's pointing upwards, not really downwards towards the clock like it should. Okay, now I definitely know I'm wrong. Okay, I hope I correct. I just see that I can correct an atomic clock. Atomic clocks have a brain of their own. Okay. So I'm going to probably be taking it to the school with me tomorrow and putting it back in my locker. Or leaving it here. Either one. But uh, yeah, there it is. In all its glory. Anyway, you know, I did correct it. I think. I'm going to wait till it gets to the bottom into 45 for the gravity takes over again. But uh, I think other than that, yeah, I think I did a pretty good job on it. I could take off the second hand and put it back on and reconfigure that. The second hand took me forever. That was one of the 
obstacles I had to fix because it kept grinding against the other clock hands and it wouldn't move. And so as you probably saw before when I was resetting it, while it was being set, should I say, it uh, ran into a few bumps. Yeah, it's correcting itself. It probably has an angle correction mechanism in it. It's actually pretty cool. Now please don't ask me to make these for you because this was a big pain in the butt to make. So, um, this was originally a sharp electronic uh, atomic clock. No longer is, as you can see. Okay, so the second hand is now correct. It's just a little bit off by a few um, um, degrees. So, but then again, so is the entire clock mechanism. What I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it on the back where I taped it on. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Now it's correct. It, it wasn't actually the hand itself. It was actually the tape job I did on the back. So that is the Simplex Atomic Clock. Yep, it's corrected now. So there we go, it's almost 7 o'clock, and I'll be heading back inside to finish um, the 3D animation I have to do for another company. Thank you very much. I lose a lot of sleep.